Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Before we get things started, I just want to let you all know, uh, assuming this video goes out on Saturday, June 20th, that in two days, on June 22nd, 2020, I turn 20. So I'm going to be hosting a live stream on Twitch at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, I hope to see you all there. Also, uh, the day after that, on the 23rd, I'm going to be doing another live stream at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Both days, I'm going to be doing 3 p.m. live streams. June 22nd for my birthday and June 23rd for the Nether update. I'm going to be live streaming a whole thing of that. And uh, what will probably happen is I'm going to send the VOD over to one of my editors and have that edited. So if you miss the stream, you can catch the highlights for the Nether, all that good stuff. But yeah. That's all I really have to say right now, so uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Woo! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nick's Workshop. I wanna thank every single one of you for the support on the first episode in which we made this nifty little uh, three by three piston door. I know uh, it's probably not the best design, and I also know a couple of you pointed out that there's no real way to control it from the other side. Maybe in a future episode, I'll take care of that. I'm sure it's probably some kind of like button-based T flip-flop, but uh, I'm satisfied with the design I have right now. It was more just about the learning and the practice that went into it, but I'm satisfied for now, so we're gonna move on. So what we have right in front of us here is your typical two by two piston door. Door cuts off hallway, you know, blocks just move in. Very, very, very straightforward. Now let's look at this door and you know how it appears to us in both states. When it is open, you can't see any pistons on the inside. And when it's closed, you also can't see any pistons, which uh, you know, that's kind of a good goal. That means this door is seamless. You can't see any pistons or redstone when it's open or closed. However, when the door is shut, if this was just a big open wall and you had this little indent in it, uh, you might, might think it's something suspicious, I don't know. Moving on to this door, this is another two by two piston door. Um, you can see the pistons in the hallway, which makes it so it is not seamless. However, it goes flat with the wall. And in piston doors, this is what people call flush. This is not a flush door, but it is a seamless one. This is not a seamless one, but it is a flush one. This design, uh, I cannot take credit for this design. This was a mumbo jumbo build. I'm sure a lot of you know mumbo jumbo if you're watching this video, but this is a seamless and flush piston door. If I pull this lever, you'll see the wall goes completely flat. However, you'll notice that these side pistons here get hidden away and uh, it is also completely seamless. You can't see any pistons. There's an issue with this one though. And this is the this is the challenge I intend to tackle today. If you were to build this door up, you couldn't really put it in the middle of a wall. This door heavily relies on the fact that it would sit at ground level because these two blocks in the front get pushed up right below. What I intend to do today is make a two by two seamless and flush piston door that does not rely on, you know, sitting at grind level. As with the three by three piston door, I did a small amount of tinkering beforehand, so I know kind of what I'm getting myself into, but uh, I've only done it once before, so let's see what I can do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the actual pistons for the door, and they are gonna sit like this. And basically what's gonna happen is this part, this, this section of the door, is gonna work very similarly to this one. However, when it's open, we're gonna push both of these up and out of the way so that, you know, it, it's just gonna look like wall. The first thing I know I'm gonna wanna do is figure out a way to power all of these pistons at the same time. And I'm thinking if I set up some observers like this, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Hang on. I feel like this would lend itself to a little more, you know, simplicity. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build half of it. And once I can get half of it working, I'm just gonna mirror the design. I feel like that is smart. My OCD will not be happy if I put the lever on the other side. So I'm gonna put the lever on the other side. Just give me a second. Let's try this. Let's try putting two pistons here. Cause if we power them at the same time, all four of these blocks are gonna get updated, right? Let's test it. So I guess we could do this and power it from here. Power this block and then get a repeater. I'm just trying to power everything from the bottom because I feel like that's gonna lend itself to having room for everything else we need to do. Oh, I just realized I need to actually make it so the wiring can get to the other side. Um, Let's do this. Let's go like that. We're gonna go lever, torch, 
block uh, repeaters. So from this, we can actually take a line out and get it to the other side. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're gonna do this. That's gonna, what? Wait, oh no, that was already. <laughs> so now if I pull, if I pull the lever, all that's gonna do, Okay, 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 good. Now that we've got that, let's get the rest of the opening circuit done. And for that, I'm thinking we're going to have to, via observer, power these pistons from above and below. We're gonna use the piston trick again. I feel like that should work just fine. Now the trouble that I'm now realizing is, how am I gonna power both of these at the same time? Let's draw power from here, because this is connected to the main lever kind of circuit. Let's kind of build it up and around over here. Uh, how are we gonna get the redstone line to go up? That's that's a that's a challenge. How do we get a redstone line to go up instead? <gasps> Ooh, does this work? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Does doing this work still? I know it used to work. I don't know if it still works. This is a way for redstone line to travel up more or less instantaneously. And if this works, this could be really, 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 really useful. Does this work? Oh, that works, but it totally broke everything here. Okay, what actually happened? Let's give you a little more delay maybe and just see what happens. That worked. And then you need another thingy. Oh, so how about this? How about another torch here, another repeater here? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> okay, here we go. Okay, so then if I take this up to here, this goes up. So if I can hook this up to here, I think we should be in business. Yeah, let's uh let's go up one more and then bring this line. Oh, let's get the right block for it. Let's bring this line over. So we've got this kind of thing going on. Okay, so let's see. Pull lever. That works. Pull lever. <gasps> okay, okay, so we've got the actual door. What we have here is a steam, no, we've got a flush two by two piston door. Now what we've gotta do is make it, we've gotta make it seamless. We've gotta push these two pistons out of the way. So what we have to do is we're gonna have to push them down. So let's try a vertical, double piston extender that sits here. Yeah, because then it's gonna go choo choo and then push everything out of the way and it's gonna get replaced by those. But how? <laughs> Let's try taking the output from here. Do we want this one to pulse? Yeah, let's let's make this one pulse because, yeah, that's actually perfect. Let's make this pulse. So we'll use the same trick we did over here with this little, uh. We'll use it here, so it only goes on when it turns on for itself, and you don't get a pulse when it turns off. Okay, okay, we'll use that. We're gonna use that trick. So, repeater into piston, with this coming over here. I don't know how much delay I should have on this. Oh, that won't lend itself for a lot of room if I'm going straight. Okay, you know what? We're gonna move this back one. Can I take an output from that? I can't. Okay. Better idea, better idea, better idea. Do this. We're just gonna switch around the direction of this little staircase thing real quick. Yeah, we'll just do this. And then we can go all the way down and this should turn on. Yes, okay, and then we can take an output from here into the piston with a block and a repeater and a pulse around here, which gives us time to do a little bit of delay and we can make our circuit, which looks something like, oh gosh. Okay, so we've got to power the top and we're gonna to have to power down here. And this piston's gotta have more delay. I don't think it has to have that many, but now the challenge is, how do I get to them both? Oh, does that work? Oh, uh, I think so. Let me connect this up. If I power this. Oh, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. Okay, so I definitely need to take some delay out of this. Let's just go all the way and see what happens. Full extension. Oh, <gasps> yo, that actually worked really well. Okay, 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 okay. So now I need to make it so when I turn this on, I have what? I've got you and you. 
that do basically the same thing. Now, how on earth am I gonna do this? Let's try this. Let's try and take this here for our bottom piston and then this into... Where's this gonna go? Cause this, this piston's gonna get pushed up so we could put you there. But if I power this, is that gonna then make this piston here push out? Should I put obsidian there just to make sure it doesn't push the block out? Or is that gonna be an issue? Am I, am I overthinking this? Uh, let's just try it, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even watch it. Did that, <gasps> wait, 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 what? Wait, hello? Hello? Wait, did that? Okay, <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, so hang on. We got, we got this, which is exact. Wait, did I? <gasps> no way! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Can I make this go any sooner? Oh, if I can make this go any sooner. Uh, uh is that, is that doable or will that break it? Oh, okay, so you need to be a full thingy. Could I do that? No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so now the question is, am I gonna be able to mirror this? If this actually works, then my goodness, we are in business today. This will be awesome. If I mirror this and it works first try, I don't have a clue what to say. That'll be awesome. So, oh, I can just take this, do this. That saves me a lot of time. I don't have to wire that from the other side. That's good. The same goes for this. I don't know if that block is necessary. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, that's not even, don't really need that to be upset. That's <laughs> so cool watching that work. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself. Okay, you're down there, you're down there. I need a way for the wiring to get under this somehow? What if we did this? What if, what if it came around here? This might be tricky. Uh, oh, actually, um, let's use this trick again. Yeah, and this can come up here into this thing. Okay, okay, that actually works. Lovely, now what do I do? Do I do this guy up here? We'll kind of just copy everything and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, I'll figure it out. Could I connect this to just Literally this, that seems like it would work. So you push up and you push down at the same time. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is, this is, this is going remarkably well. So now I've just got to power the piston. That's what we need to power. So I need to figure out how to get, mm, oh, I can just do this. What am I doing? Uh, I think that works. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now we have to go up and up, and then I should just be able to put that there. Is this complete? Oh. No way! Oh, okay, let me, oh, today's a good day. Oh, I was not sure. I mean, again, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna hide the fact that I did a little tinkering beforehand, so I knew what kind of thing I was getting into, but, Wow, this went way better than I ever thought it was going to. I know these redstone videos aren't for everyone, so I do appreciate it if you've been watching this far. Uh, thank you very much. Give me some recommendations for future redstone contraptions in the comments. I would love to see what you guys wanna see. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to mention. I'm wearing my hard hat. I made a, I made a new skin for this series. Safety first, guys. That's awesome. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that's not that bad. It's not the prettiest looking circuit, but that doesn't suck one bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're done. <laughs> Again, in a fairly short amount of time, I've only been recording for about a half hour. So I guess really there's not much else I have to say for this video. So I'm just gonna end it right here. That is a seamless and flush two by two piston door that does not rely on, you know, sitting at ground level. So if you'd wanna do something like this in like a cliff side and just have your base like straight in, like this, this could, 
This could be good for something like an elytra-based entrance, where, you know, you, you hit some lever in the distance, and then you could just fly into your base. That could be fun, actually. Hmm, yeah, there's really not much more to say, so I'm gonna end this video here. So, that was episode two of Nick's Workshop. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching all the way through. If you're still with me, I very much appreciate it. I appreciate the support on the first episode too. And uh, all the folks who came over from the Let's Play uh, when I uh, sent you that way. So it's, I'm, I'm, re I'm really, really glad to see you guys coming around. Uh, I appreciate it. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this video. So if you liked this episode of the workshop and you wanna see more redstone shenanigans like this, then please subscribe and share this video to your friends, places, things, and the blah, blah, blah. That is gonna do it for this video. And I will see all of you in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.